Does uh, self-doubt have a place when we walk in this path of Shraddha? Yes, it has a place. You see, the way I see it, huh? until Shraddha is well-rooted, it has to coexist with its opposite. And doubt shows Shraddha, Shraddha shows that there has to be a little doubt. I'll give you an example. The way in which I saw it is about courage and fear, right? So when somebody says I'm very courageous, it has a shadow of fear in it. Because the word courage comes along with its contrast called fear. I can't draw a white figure on a white wall. I can draw only a black figure on a white wall. So the words also have the same ecosystem like that. Let me give an example. Suppose you live in your uh, apartments, which is the 12th floor. And uh, somebody came uh, through the elevator and they entered your home in the 12th floor. And the person comes, wipes off his sweat and says, ah, ah, ah. Courageously, I got into the lift and I came up to the 12th floor. What does it show? If a person is not afraid to enter into the lift, the person does not need that courage also. So if a person says, I courageously, bravely entered into a lift to come to the 12th floor, it actually means the contrast of the words, which is actually I was afraid, but I managed to get into the lift in spite of my fear, is what we say when we say courage, right? Huh? And so once you say courage, whether as a word or as a feeling or as an emotion, it has to coexist with its opposite. One of these very uh, 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 proficient speakers, uh, uh, philosophical speakers we had in the last century, uh, uses a very beautiful uh, term to describe this physical existence, world. Uh, that person said the world is nothing but a tension between opposites like a current is a tension between positive and a negative charge and when it, something flows around it it's called current or power isn't it likewise when we have shraddha uh, when we are able to think I think I have shraddha we already have given a space for doubt there that is absolutely normal because it's already there within us na? it is normal because Shraddha does not mean absence of doubt to start with. Shraddha means progressing in spite of doubt with the doubt. If I have to walk through a symmetry, even though I'm a very scientific person, I'm a rational person, when I walk through the symmetry, I do get a little bit of a fear in my heart. If the fear freezes me, then I have no courage. If the fear is there, yet I continue walking, I name that practically as courage. Courage is not absence of fear. In fact, courage is not even opposite of fear, like day and night. You see, courage exists with fear. And when I am courageous, it means I have fear. And it's completely normal to answer your question because it's, it's evident. Yes, so, it's normal. Till I attain the final state of realization, Doubts will be there. A Upanishad Vakya, I can corroborate because I shouldn't talk from my own sort of, uh, you know, ignorance. Vidyate krudeya grantihi, kshiyante chasya karmani, chidyante sarva samshaya, drishta evatmani ishvare. In that, your question is answered. A Rishi yes. says in an Upanishad, until I attain the destination, there will be doubt, even for the most spiritual person. And the final step of my realization, aha, chidyante sarva samshaya. And so until that final step of experience, Vedas are saying that there has to be doubts because we are all intelligent conscious beings. So it's perfectly normal to self-doubt, perfectly normal to even doubt Bhagavan. It's all very normal. But Shraddha means living with the doubt, carrying the doubt along, not trying to curse the doubt or fight with the doubt because doubt is like the, the Rakta Bija Asura, you see. You, uh, our Mysasura Mardini, you know, she, she actually, Durga Devi cut uh, Asura 
each time she cut an asura a drop of the blood of the asura becomes another asura it's a wonderful of course it's it has many connotations it has adhyatmic connotation adi bhautik adi uh, adi devik connotations but for us to since we are talking about mind the connotation of a bija asura is the more i fight my doubt the stronger it becomes so what did durga devi do we are in navaratri na she drank that blood <laughs> she made it a part of her being likewise doubt is there yes be with me and i completely respect you you are also a part of me i am not going to fight you you are not uh, anya to me but i will carry you along and when i have that experience finally you are going to disappear i am not going to throw you out i am not going to fight you i am not going to bully till you i am not even going to not accept you i am going to embrace you you are my child i'll take you along but you shall not stop me that's what is shraddha that nagging doubt the self doubt should not paralyze me when it does not paralyze me it's normal if it paralyzes me i need a little bit of a vitamin you know and that's what satsang is for satsang is not to eliminate my doubt satsang is there for me to keep moving with my doubt in spite of my doubt you see